Hello everyone, my name is Adesola Jebade, a music student at Gunet Technical College. Welcome to GTTC Podcast. And today I will be discussing the life and music composition of Howard Hansen. The piece you just heard was his work from the second symphony, which he did called The Romantic, which was commissioned for the for the 50th anniversary season of the Boston Symphony Orchestra under Serge Kosovitsky, who conducted the premiere on 28 November 1930, popular because of his lovely theme and rich orchestration. Mr. Ensign was born to Hilma Hickstrom and Hans Hansen on October 28, 1896 in Wahoo, Nebraska, USA. He was a composer, conductor, and a teacher who promoted contemporary American music and was in his own composition a principal representative of the romantic tradition. He was educated in public schools of Wahui and given lessons in piano and violoncello. At Luda College, he began seriously to compose under the tutelage of A. O. Anderson, after which he briefly attended the University of Nebraska at Lincoln. Now I'm gonna go back to the piece, The Romantic. Enjoy. Mr. Ensign received his diploma in 1914 from the Institute of Musical Art in New York as a pupil of Percy Gatshaws and James Friskin. He returned to the Midwest where he attended Northwestern University to study with Han Holdberg and Peter Litzkin, receiving his A.B. degree in 1916. At age 19, Hansen began teaching at the College of the Pacific in Stockton, California, becoming Dean of the Conservatory of Fine Art in 1919. There, he wrote his pageant, California Forest Play of 1920, for voices, dancers, and orchestra for the Red Wood Park Festival. For this composition, he was awarded the first American Prize de Rome, with which he studied at the American Academy in Rome. Hansen completed his first symphony, the Nordic, in 1923 in Rome, and his symphonic poem, North and West, with which he toured Europe as composer-conductor. Extending his tour to America, he led the Rochester Orchestra in the Nordic in the fall of 1923, which so impressed President Rush Reese of the University of Rochester and industrialist philanthropist George, George Hustman and that they offered him the directorship of the Hustman School of Music of the University. Now I'm going to let you guys enjoy the piece, the romantic, one more time. Mr. Hansen also used the radio as a medium for the dissemination, dissemination of music. As a conductor, Hansen con concentrated on developing vocal and instrumental ensembles, ensembles within the Eastman School that were composed of performers capable of sight reading and performing contemporary music as well as the masterpiece of the past. In 1925, Hansen conducted the first of his many American composer concerts. Several years later, 1931, he initiated a second series of programs for the performance of both contemporary and historic work 
the annual festivals of American music, which continued through 1971. You have a wonderful evening. Thank you.